All right, this question comes from an amazing book. It's called Relativism, Feet Firmly Planted in Mid-Air by Dr. Francis J. Beckwith and Gregory Kukul, who has a master's degree from Talbot. Moral relativists believe that when it comes to moral issues, there are no universally objective right or wrong answers. Now, objective, the opposite of relative truth, means something is true regardless of how you feel about it. Subjective truth means something is true about you, the subject, making the statement, not the object about which the statement is being made. Moral relativists believe there are no appropriate or inappropriate judgments because, again, there's no standard. There is no God to tell us what is right or wrong. Moral relativists believe there are no reasonable or rational ways to make moral decisions or distinctions that apply every time in every place to every person. However, to deny the existence of universally objective distinctions, one must admit that Mother Teresa was no more or less moral than Adolf Hitler, that torturing three-year-olds for fun is neither good nor evil, that giving 10% of one's financial surplus to an invalid is neither praiseworthy nor condemnable, that raping a woman is neither right nor wrong, and that providing food and shelter for one's spouse is neither a good thing nor a bad thing. Without God, there is no basis for morality.